I often repeat myself, and the second time's a lie. I love you. I love you. See what I mean? I don't. And I do. And I'm not talking about a girl I might be kissing on. I'm talking about this world I'm glissing on. And hating at the exact same time. Life doesn't rhyme. It's bullets and wind chimes. It's lynchings and birthday parties. It's the rope that ties the noose and the rope that hangs the backyard swing. It's a boy about to take his life, and with the knife to his wrist, he's thinking of only two things. Two things. His father's fist and his mother's kiss, and he can't stop crying. It's wanting tonight to speak the most honest poem I've ever spoken in my life. Not knowing if that poem should bring you closer to living or dying. Drowning or flying. See, life doesn't rhyme. Last night, I prayed myself to sleep. Woke this morning to find God's obituary scrolled in tears on my sheets. Then walked outside to hear my neighbor erasing 10,000 years of hard labor with a single note of his violin. And the sound of the traffic rang like a hymn as the holiest leaf of autumn fell from a plastic tree limb. Beautiful and ugly. Like right now, I'm needing nothing more than for you to hug me. And if you do, I'm gonna scream like a caged bird. See, life doesn't rhyme. Sometimes love is a vulgar word. Sometimes hate calls itself peace. Peace. peace on the nightly news. I've heard saints preaching truths that would have burned me at the stake. I've heard poets telling lies that made me believe in heaven. Sometimes I imagine Hitler. At seven years old. A paintbrush in his hand at school thinking, what color should I paint my soul, my soul? Sometimes I remember myself with track marks on my tongue from shooting up convictions that would have hung innocent men from trees. Have you ever seen a mother falling to her knees the day her son died in a war she voted, voted, voted for? Can you imagine how many gay teenage lives were saved the day Matthew Shepard died? Could there have been anything louder than the noise inside his father's head when he begged the jury, please don't take the lives of the men who turned my son's skull to powder. I know nothing would make my family prouder than giving up everything, everything, everything I believe in. Still nothing keeps me believing like the sound of my mother breathing. Life doesn't rhyme. It's tasting your rapist's breath on the neck of a woman who loves you more than anyone has loved you before. Then feeling holy as Jesus beneath the hands of a one night stand who's calling somebody else's name. It's never feeling more greedy than when you're handing out dollars to the needy. It's my not eating meat for the last seven years, then seeing the kindest eyes I've ever seen in my life on the face of a man with a branding iron in his hand and a beat down baby calf wailing at his feet. It's choking on your beliefs. It's your worst sin saving your fucking life. It's the devil's knife carving holes into your soul so angels will have a place to make their way inside. Life doesn't rhyme. Still, life is poetry, not math. All the world's a stage, but the stage is a meditation mat. You tilt your head back, you breathe. When your heart is broken, you plant seeds in the cracks. Then you pray for rain. And you teach your sons and daughters there are sharks in the water. But the only way to survive is to breathe deep. To breathe deep. And to